Hi, so glad you could join us. Hop in the back. Come on in. We're going to have a great time today. Are you excited to go to the Houston RV show? We sure are. We're going to go down and look at some of the small trailers under 28 feet. What are you guys looking for? Hello and welcome back. If it's your first time here, I'm Scott. And I'm Allison. And we're Jarhead, Jarhead and Ginger's, Ginger's Journey. Journey. We're full-time RVers. We do destination videos, tips and tricks, and all things RV. If that sounds like something you'd like, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and come along on our journeys. We've come to check out some small RVs. As you guys probably know, our big old 397 TH is for sale. So we're here seeing what is smaller so we can get to Alaska this summer. I'm ready to look at these little RVs and see what we can downsize to from our momentum. We're starting today here at the Keystone area. We used to own a hideout when we lived in Alaska, so we're going to tour a couple of these hideouts today. Stick around, because we're going to do at least two, maybe three. Depends on what we see. Come on. The first one we're going to do today is this Hideout 177RD. And if you look up here, it's 21 foot 5 inches, so that fits into our category of 28 feet or less. You can see some of the specs there uh, from your weight capacity all the way up to your awning lengths. One thing I really like about the Hideouts, or the Keystones in general, is their uh, flex batteries. They all um, keystones now are coming with some form of solar on them whether I think it's 200 to 600 uh, amps on the batteries and um, that's upgradable depending on uh, what you're looking for so let's check the outside of this out and go on into the inside in a minute the first thing we'll look at is this storage here in the front signs a little bit in the way but it is passed through storage it does go all the way through and it's pretty good uh, amount of storage for such a small RV now now we've moved around to the front here you do see where the uh, lithium battery is and this is where you would store your uh, propane tank currently uh, no propane in it and if you look down this side you'll see why we aren't going down that way it's a little close in here we're at the nrg stadium in houston and they really have them packed in here good guys let's go around to the back we're here at the uh, back side of this uh, hideout now they have another storage here so let's take a look here. It is not a pass-through, but it is pretty good size. I'd probably hold my uh, stinky slinky and my chalks and things like that in there. Come on around to the back side and let's see what we got. We got the square tube bumper here. That's where your stinky slinky would go. And your spare tire. It is a Goodyear tire actually, so that's good. No China bombs. And here on the non-camping side, you have another uh, storage, so that's nice. Uh, the pass-through in front and two pretty decent sized storages on the outside. Well, that's pretty much it for the outside of this thing. Let's go on in and see what the inside has to offer. Come on in, I'll take you nose to tail through this RV. So we start here, this is the bedroom. You have this little corner bed, kind of odd shaped. I haven't been in one like this before. You do have some cabinet storage here. A nice shelf overhead. You have to be careful what you put there for travel day. And here is your restroom. Toilet, you have some cabinet space, opening cabinets, little sink and tub, and a nice medicine chest for storage. And right across from that is your kitchen. Cabinets up here for some cereal or whatever you're gonna put up there. <laughs> and also up here you have a microwave, a small microwave. Down below you have this little sink. I think it'd be hard to wash um, a big pot in here. You'd have to do that outside. But for a small camper, it does the job. Two burner stove. This is a refrigerator. At first I thought this was a um, dishwasher, but it's just a little Dometic fridge. And you do have two drawers for storage. And a U-shaped dinette that also, as you can see, makes to a bed. On this side, there is your air conditioner and more storage. And that's it for this model. What do you think? Could you do this one full time? 
Um, I don't think so. If nothing else, just because the refrigerator is so small. The, the little freezer, there's hardly any room in that. And the refrigerator, it's probably five or six cubic feet, guys. That's about it. Um, other than that, I think it's got room for us. There's only two of us. The biggest problem for me is also the refrigerator and that kitchen sink. I need more space in the sink, but there is a lot of countertop space uh, on that side. For this size of a camper, it is a good floor plan. Now we're here at the Hideout 22 MLS. This one on the length is 26 foot 4 inches, so it fits into our 28 foot or less category that we're personally looking for. So let's take a look around the outside and then we'll go in and check out the inside as usual. We'll start here again. It does have pretty much the same size storage as the last one we saw. It is a pass through and it's probably uh, two and a half, three feet across. So that's a pretty good, pretty good bit of uh, storage space there come on up towards the front here you're gonna see an upgrade you've got the uh, power tongue jack here you've got a spot for two um, propane bottles and then behind is where you would put your optional uh, dragonfly battery so that's pretty cool come around to the camping side over here you're gonna see something different you've got a Gerard uh, on-demand water heater uh, some people love them. I'm not a big fan. And here's the other door for the pass-through. And you have your uh, water connections, your fresh water, your city water, and I'm assuming black tank flush here. Again, we can't get through here, but this one has a decent sized slide here. And it looks like it's a, a through frame slide, so that's a nice uh, amenity too. Now let's go take a look at the back side and see what it has. Just behind the front door here, you do have two um, outlets for uh, city power. Over here, you have the spot that you'd hook up the cable if your park has it. Moving down here, that's your furnace there. It's got a suburban furnace in it. it. Has an outdoor shower. It's currently locked, but we all know what those look like for the most part. And over here, it looks like it has a, a tray here that you'd put in um, a small table for possibly a cooktop or something like that. And actually we did see a cooktop in the front uh, storage, so that probably comes with it. And then here on the back you have the standard uh, square tube bumper where everybody stores their stinky slinky. And a nice um, spare tire. That one says Lodestar. Come on inside and let's check out this one. This one does start as well in the master bedroom in the nose. This looks like the queen size bed. You've got room to get in on both sides and like the other one, it is a little bit bigger. You do have cabinet closet space for your hanging stuff. And it looks like this might be, this is not a drawer. This is just a little box here. It looks like it's the same on the other. Let's see if the bed looks up, lifts up for storage, it does. Ooh, that's some nice deep storage inside under the bed. I could fit lots of fabric in there. And here's your seating area. You have this with the armrest on both sides. Looks like it does make into a bed. There's power outlets here, a little shelf for storage. Look at these windows, very nice. You do have the accordion style uh, blackout type blinds. And then on over here, oh, much nicer refrigerator. This is a Furion. You do have a separate freezer. Oh, and they've even got it nice and cold. Refrigerator. That is a nice size. I like that. It's Not, also 12 volt. Oh, it's 12 volt. It's unlike the Momentum full size refrigerator. I think that is a good size for us. This is a microwave, much smaller. I'd rather have convection, but this would work for a lot of people. And you do have a three burner cooktop with a glass cover. That's nice. Nice smooth surface and small oven. You're not gonna fit a turkey in there, but you should, could sure fit a pizza. These are hardwood cabinets. You have four drawers here and another cabinet down below. Over here on this side, this is the back of the RV. You have these nice cabinets with lighting inside so you can see what you're looking for in there. All that space, identical pass-through. You have your window here, double sink with covers. 
This is one big sink instead of a split sink, stainless steel. And down here, you have cabinets, you have room to put your trash can. Look at all that space underneath. And identical, oh no, this has a shelf and there's your uh, control panel there, your fuse boxes. Here are some of your controls. This is your thermostat. This is your battery and battery heat. This is your water heater controls. And then come on in here, you do have a sliding door go into your bathroom. It is odd that it's kind of right next to the kitchen, but you have to do what you can with this space. And look at this shower. I can stand up. I am 5'4", if I'm cheating, and have plenty of room. <laughs> I'm actually 5'3 and a half. <laughs> but the, um, you do have this handheld little plastic one. I'd probably change that out. Um, but it is nice size. And then medicine cabinet, storage there. Nice size sink and storage below. You even have storage on that side. Lots of counter space for the ladies stuff. And this is a porcelain toilet. Well, that was the Hideout 22 MLS. And you can see right here behind us, the show price, $34,997. What do you think? You think this could be the one to take us to Alaska? Between the first two, it would definitely be in this one. I could see possibly living in full time. Uh, I would like more storage space inside, um, especially if I'm gonna be doing any quilting and living full time. Um, it's possible, but I think there's something better out there for me. This is a good one, though. This is pretty good. I, I like this one quite a bit. Um, the drawback for me, I guess, would be if there if there is one, is the bathroom right by your kitchen, uh, right by your sink in the kitchen. Yes. That one's, that's kind of strange, <laughs> but hey, they, it's, they do their laundry in the kitchen in Europe, so it's a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're still in the Keystone area, but now we're here at the Outbacks. This one is the 221 UMD, and as you can see, the length is 27 feet. So again, this one will fit into our 28 foot or less um, agenda. So let's take a look at the outside as usual, and then we'll take you in and look around. Here at the back of the RV, you do have the square tube bumper with the stinky slinky holder in it, I would, I would assume there. You also have your spare tire with the uh, Keystone cover on this one. And this one actually has a ladder, so you got a walkable roof on this guy. Let's come around on the camping side and see what we got as we go down this way. Right here we have your outside uh, plug-ins and your hookups for cable if your park has cable. They all, all of them, and I don't think we listed them on the other two, they all have the solid steps that we've looked at today. So those are very, very cool. I like those a lot. And then coming around here to the front side, you do have a pass-through storage here. And you can see some of your uh, hookups there for your solar. And it has a water sprayer here as well. Nice amount of storage there. They do, it looks like they're going to have a wet bay on the other side. You see the box there built in. And also on the uh, front wall there is inverter prep. And on this outback, they also have the um, electric tongue jack, the spot for your two propane bottles, and then you'll have the uh, holder for one battery, which is upgradable to lithium as it is still a keystone and they all come uh, with some form of panels on top now and then along this side you'll see this is your pass-through storage here and this one i want to say is probably going to be your wet bay however they're locked and we can't get in this one also has a gerard uh, on-demand water heater and this one has the uh, cable driven slide here one slide in this unit so let's take a look at the inside. Come on. Come on in. We're going to start at the nose. And this is a queen size bed here. You do have your wardrobe hanging clothes on each side. You do have space on this side for whatever you want to put there. And cabinets overhead. The bed does lift up for storage. You can see lots of room over there. And look at this. Check out this special feature. This is a pet kennel. So you can put your pets in there. You do have a TV that swivels to show the bedroom or the main living area. 
Another cabinet over here, you do have a radio. This is a laundry chute. Check it out, y'all. Well, hey, y'all. And the bedroom is closed off for privacy with these sliding curtains. And then on here, you have these nice uh, love seats with your drink holders, your remote. And look, this even have has soft clothes. These are recliners. And then on to your kitchen, you do have lots of deep cabinet space. Pull out for your trash. This is a GE 12 volt refrigerator freezer. I think it's 10 cubic feet. Look at that, all that space y'all, that is nice. Place for your cans here. And then on to the kitchen, you do have your overhead storage, Furion stove, three burner, just like the other ones, uh, with that nice cooktop. You do have lighted knobs here and another small oven, just like the others. And look at this big storage drawer, nice and deep. And look at this, lots of space for your little pantry. You can put your canned goods here, spices. That is nice. You have a little bit of prep space here. And up here we have a microwave, small size microwave like the others. You have some overhead cabinetry here. There's another shelf in the back, half shelf. And down below, there are solid surface countertops. And look at this sink. This is a farmhouse style sink, stainless steel. Lots of room in there for your big pots and pans. On this side, you do have uh, two drawers right here. And this is your fuse panel in here. It's nice that they have it hidden away, but I thought it was more storage. <laughs> and here is more storage. It doesn't go all the way back. So this would be nice for some cans or spices here. And then here is your thermostat and all of your controls. And this is for your water heater and on to the bathroom. Here I am in the shower. You can see that is nice and tall. I am, like I said, five, three and a half. And I can touch the top. There is a little skylight. There is this nicer handheld. And here's your medicine cabinet with lots of storage in here. A little space underneath. Solid surface, same as the kitchen. And deep enough sink. Storage down here and up here. This is another cabinet here on this side. And then a porcelain toilet here, Dometic toilet. Well, that was the Outback 221 UMD, guys. And you can see right here behind us, the show price is $37,997. So what'd you think? I really like the dog kennel or pet kennel in the <laughs> bed that's built in, but that does take away from some of my fabric storage. I don't think I'd want to put the pets in there. And uh, the kitchen's pretty nice size. So this one had the bathroom right by the kitchen sink again. And believe it or not, I think it needs more um, cabinets because those cabinets that they have in there just I don't think are quite enough. Hello, I'm Adrian. And I'm Ruth. And, and we are, are RV Life with Adrian and Ruth. And Ruth. Join us next time on Jared and Ginger's Journey.